Hello everyone, my name is Carlos, I'm the lead developer for Interactive GeoMaps WordPress plugin and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use your own GeoJSON files in the plugin. When creating a map, there's an option uh, to select a map to display and you can actually select the option to use a custom map source. And this allows you to include a URL to a GeoJSON file which will be the map you'll use. And um, in this video I'm going to show you how you can convert a file that you probably found online and uh, to make it compatible with the plugin. So if you go to my official website interactivegeomaps.com slash geojson tool or you can find the link here in the footer geojson tool uh, you can run your geojson through here to see if it's compatible uh, with the plugin but I'm going to show you a couple of extra tools that you can use to see if the file is or to improve the file to be compatible with the plugin um, so usually you would search online maybe or you already have the GeoJSON file I'm going to show you just maybe how you can find um, map files online and I'm actually going to use the Princeton University Library Digital Maps and Geospatial Data resource um, I'm going to come back to the beginning and there's actually it's maps.princeton.edu and uh, you can search for all kinds of maps here. I'm going to search Italy. I'm going to set the filter access public and format to polygon, which is the format that the plugin is able to handle. Okay, so and this is just an example of how you can get a file, a GeoJSON file that it's not available in the plugin. And this tool actually allows us to download in GeoJSON format directly but I'm going to download it in a shapefile so I can show you how you can convert it to um, GeoJSON using a different tool. I'm going to call it Italy. And the first tool I'm going to use is mapshaper.org. This uh, is particularly useful to convert it to GeoJSON and to simplify the shapes. So I'm going to import. Uh, if you get this, this uh, kind of uh, strange squares, it's because it's loading a CSV file that we don't need, so I'm going to delete it. And here we have the file we need. So this file is, is a big file, it's uh, more than 6 megabytes, and uh, the plugin handles files that are small, better, uh, it handles better the files if they are smaller. So one thing that we're going to do is use the simplify tool. I'm going to check the prevent shape removal, apply, and I'm going to zoom in so we see what's happening. And if when I slide this, you see that the shapes are getting um, simplified. So I'm going to stop here at 6%. Seems a good compromise. Uh, Map Shaper is also able to make some uh, repairs to some line intersections. Okay. And this, in theory, will result in a smaller map file. If um, you have some experience with uh, a terminal uh, or you're a programmer, you can also explore the console options. Um, for this example, I'm going to just show you something um, that uh, you can do here in the console. But before that, show you an important thing. If we use here the Inspect Features tool, see how when we over the regions, we get some data. And you see that the name three, ID three, they are unique to each. And this is important. We're going to need that after. And um, so what I'm going to do, if we go to another region, there's different regions. And notice that this name one, Calabria, if I come uh, Basilicata, here it's Sicily. Imagine you only wanted the regions or the cities from Sicily. We can use the console to do that. And we're going to filter uh, entries that the name one is equal to Sicily. Th this is obviously, obviously you need to have some 
um, experience with programming to understand what you need to do here but still wanted to show uh, what's possible to do so I'm gonna run this and it actually it uh, kind of uh, filtered out the other regions and left only the Sicily regions and now I'm gonna export we wanted to export in GeoJSON export and I'm gonna call it Sicily and this actually results in a file of uh, 400 um, kilobytes which is perfect okay now we have a JSON file which uh, the GeoJSON files can be either .geojson or .json it will work the same and I'm gonna show you another tool the geojson.io I'm gonna load uh, before maybe I'll uh, you can also use this tool to create your own regions you can come here to the draw polygon um, option and you can create so last case scenario you don't find the map you need online you can use this tool to build your own you create the shapes like this and then for each you can you come here you come to each of the um, after you create the regions you, know, we, you click on it and you'll need to you, you add an ID and a name for each so this is just to show you that um, it's also possible to create your own map using this tool but in this case I wanted to show you this tool because it's nice it shows you the table with all the data that it's included in the file and maybe we don't need this column of with the ID 0 the ISO code because it's just repeating and we don't need it and we can delete these columns of data and it, it will make the file smaller uh, I'm not gonna do it but you know that uh, it's something that you can do it's a bit slow but it's an easy way to do it instead of you know with the programming or running the file through some uh, code this will be an easier visual way to do it okay so now we have the JSON file um, I'm gonna open it on another window just to get the code and finally we go to the GeoJSON tool provided on my on the website for the, the plugin and um, so we're gonna copy the code from the file here and it's gonna give us uh, the error so right now the file is not compatible with the plugin but it, it gives us uh, the warnings that we need the things we need to fix coordinates seem to be counterclockwise so we click the rewind coordinates file the option name property is missing okay so remember before we saw the name 3 ID 3 thing uh, we can see them again here coming to features this is all the regions that exist we open uh, one of them to the we come to the properties and uh, we know that the unique name is the name 3 we're gonna use that one and it's gonna tell us also that the ID is missing ID property is missing and we know that it's ID 3 we could go again here in the tree to find out but we already know and okay no problems detected uh, approximate file size uh, is perfect and we see here that it works there's some other options uh, also to simplify and to truncate coordinates uh, this would help uh, making the file smaller but right now it's already at a decent size so now I'm gonna copy this uh, usually you should um, save this on your own file upload it to your server for this example I'm gonna use the github gist and I'm gonna call this Sicily Okay, and I'm gonna get the you click the raw option to get the URL. Okay, so this is the URL for the file, the GeoJSON file. Come back here to the option to create new map, Sicily. Uh, already, this was already selected, and add the URL here. I'm gonna save draft so this region codes update okay so now basically we can use this 
map file as the the other maps. I'm just gonna add some random markers here. You can you know add the files like the regions like this or manually. Yeah, and you can do um, basically anything you could do with uh, included maps. I'm gonna publish this map. And um, I hope this is um, useful. I'm going to quickly show you another uh, trick. Uh, for example, you want to use this map in a drill down context. Uh, the custom maps, they don't work the same way as the included maps that they know, uh, let's say, which country they belong to or, you know, the Italy map belongs to the Europe map. So these custom maps, they don't have this relationship. Uh, so if you want to do a drill down, you would use the, the click action to display a specific map. So what you're going to need. Uh, I already have here an, an Italy map and with the regions added. And so in the regions I'm going to set a click action to display, display specific map. And in Sicily what I need in the action content is the ID of the map I want to display. I forgot to check. I'm going to go back. Sicily ID 28. 28. So when we click Sicily, I want map ID 28 to display. And I also need to come here to the overlay maps, include the Sicily map. I'm going to allow empty regions because I didn't add, add data to all the regions. Enable the drill down, OK. Update. And now when I click Sicily, there it is. So we have the custom map being used in a drill down context. I hope the video was useful. Uh, I know I understand it's not so straightforward, but hopefully this video will, will help. If you come across any issue, you can write us um, using the support channels. Thank you. You can leave a comment if you would like. Cheers.